All right, we're going to learn a little bit about slide transitions and animations. So we've got a PowerPoint open, and uh, it says to add two blank slides. So we're going to insert one more blank slide. So we have three slides total. Now up here at the on, on slide one, click to add title. So we're just going to type in slide one. Go to slide two, and it says insert a text box. Draw yourself a little text box and type in slide two and then insert a text box on slide three and type slide three okay now the next part here um, you can do this or you cannot do this um, these are plain boring white slides if you want to go up here to design you can choose a design from any of these that there are up here you might like um, you know maybe I don't know maybe you want this one Okay, and that kind of puts a design on each slide. All right, if you want to do that, you can. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But it makes it just a little bit more interesting. You also can uh, just put a shape, like draw a rectangle on this and fill that full of color. But anyways, back to the instructions. So we have our three slides, and they say slide one, slide two, slide three. Now, we're going to go back up here to slide one. We're going to click on transitions. And these are slide transitions. This is how the slide comes in and then is viewable. Okay, so we're just going to click on any one of these. And it gives you a little preview of what it does. Here's some more. And you can you can click through all of these and see you know which ones you like. This little star with the movement lines that indicates that there's a transition on this slide. Okay, so then we're gonna go to slide two and you know, maybe we want a fade, and we're gonna go to slide three and maybe we want um, doors. I don't know. Okay, so now how we look at that is you can you got the preview. You can also go to slideshow and view it from the beginning and to make it go to the next slide you click you see it kind of faded there okay and then if you like that you can keep that okay if you don't go back go back to the um, transitions and do it again now on slide three there's one more thing that I want you to do insert a uh, clip art and I don't really care what clip art you insert as long as it's you know appropriate um, Say we have a little scene here. Okay, now with that clip art selected, go over here to animations. And the same thing with the animations. Um, it can fade in, as you see it just did that. Um, it can float in, it can zoom in, it can swivel. Okay, um, all of these are possibilities. So you can go through and look at all of these and see which ones you like. Maybe you like that to bounce for some reason. Okay. There are also more advanced things you can do. That's all you need to do for the assignment. If you want to go over here to add animation, you can do all sorts of other things to it. Um, word of, of, of warning, though, if somebody's trying to view your PowerPoint for the information and it takes forever for all these slide transitions and the animations and you don't actually get to the information, that can be a little bit frustrating. So uh, sometimes less is more. Okay, so you've got your uh, clip art in there, you've animated your clip art, and you've added your slide transitions. Save this as last name transitions and then put it on the drop drive.